Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and I do like video games and in today's video we're checking out Halo 3 on Xbox Series S. Now I say Halo 3, not Halo Master Chief Collection Halo 3, the original Halo 3 on Xbox Series S. Now if you know then you know that there's no servers for this game anymore. So of course we're going to be playing the campaign but I'm feeling nostalgic and I felt like uh, I kind of want to boot up the original Halo 3, and I figured, well, if I'm going to boot that up, I like to do older backwards compatible games on my Xbox Series S videos. Why not do a video on it? So, that's exactly what we're doing in this video. We're going to hop right on into uh, the first mission. We're doing Sierra 117. Should I do it on Heroic? I haven't played, the last time I played the original Halo 3, like 30 FPS, the bad FOV, the the last time I played that was when the servers were being shut down, I hopped on for a few games of multiplayer. It's really amazing for the time, and the gameplay still feels good today, like no doubt. It's just, it's jarring to go from Halo 3 and Master Chief Collection moving, back to Halo Come 3, on, the original. It's a jarring uh, difference. But we're in the game, and if you didn't know, Xbox Series S and X are pretty interesting on Halo 3, the original, because on Series X, you get 4K at 30 FPS. On Series S, you get 1440p at 30 FPS. Both of them look great. I mean, you can see it here. It looks... Looks fantastic. Looks better than I remember it looking on the Xbox 360, I'll tell you that much. But we're just gonna run through this, uh, first mission here. See how it goes, see what it's like. I haven't played the campaign of the original Halo 3, like, on 360 in a very long time. So, this will be interesting. I've got a feeling I'm going to die at least a few times here. I'm used to playing this at 120 FPS and now we're at 30. So this is feels a little off, but we're going to power through it. For nostalgia's sake. Whoa. Dude, I remember playing this for the first time, like, at midnight, I got this... I think I've, I've told this story on this channel before, but most people probably haven't seen it. But, like, I got this game at midnight, on release, on release day. I was, like, 12 years old at the time. I bought it with my paper out money. My mom took me to, to the midnight release. I missed school the next day. Easy. Easy choice. Um... And I played this, and I remember just how good this looked compared to Halo 2, which still looked great at the time. Halo 2, the original, looked great at the time. But this was just such a step up. I remember just being floored by it. Oh, crap. Do you have a brute shot? I'll take that. I wish I could take Arbiter's carb Carbine. Arbiter's Carbiter. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. It's a testament to how good this game is and just the design of it that... What is it? 15 years later? About 15 years later, it can still feel like a really good game. The original. I mean, in MCC, it feels amazing. But just the original 30 FPS game feels really good still. And that's impressive. I hear a brute. I hear a brute. Oh my god, he's right there. If you don't know, the Covenant Carbine is my favorite weapon in any Halo game. Period. Be it's better than the BR. Oh god, that's gonna kill me. I thought it was. I thought that was gonna kill me for sure. Better than the BR, better than the AR, better than the Needler, like, sniper, anything. 
Doesn't matter what. It's better. The energy sword, I don't care. Oh, did he just get stuck? I, like, I was so floored. I, I stopped and watched, and then I got myself killed. That was hilarious. I need to grab the carbine again. I was doing so good. Now I'm, I, I died back to back times. Like a dummy. Tell me its location. Alright, let's try this again. You know what I should have done? I should have turned on Grunt Birthday Party. I don't know. I don't know why I don't think about stuff like that before I start games. Would have been nice to hear that. A little confetti noise. And the cheering. It's nice. God, this is such a good looking game. I hit left trigger to aim down sights like an idiot. Like I'm not playing Halo 3. Alright, this dude's still sniping at me. This guy's a maniac. Got fucking Dr. Disrespect over here. There we go. Almost died again, but I didn't. But I didn't. Whoa. Oh. Uh -oh. I could have used that. Up. I did not see this unalive and grunt running at me. If I'm not mistaken, I get some more carbine ammo up here. Yep. Almost missed him. There we go. Oh my god, I'm terrible. Got one last shot in this. Need to make it count. Fuck. I should probably be saving that ammo for this next part, right? Whoa. Calm down, calm down. Let's all relax here. There we go. Take that grab hammer, please. Oh, 
I'm used to the Halo Infinite Grab Hammer where it has like a range of a thousand feet. The Halo Infinite Grab Hammer is just insane compared to that. Use the grab hammer in Halo Infinite, and like everyone within 10 feet of you dies. Alright. Let's go up here and get wrecked. Let's go. And that is the first mission done. That's how you do it. That's how you do it on, and only die like four or five times. That's it. Only died four or five times. No big deal. Just a couple of mistakes. It happens. It happens. I'm still so impressed by how good this looks. Like, again, like 15 years later. This was a game from 15 years ago, and it looks as good as it does. Shit just blew my mind when I got it on 360. Absolutely blew my mind. Oh, and I forgot about the intermission loading screen. Oh. Oh, the nostalgia. Look how fast that loads. You don't even get to enjoy it. Oh my god. Wow. I might... I honestly might play through the whole game again on 360. That is just, that's just so much nostalgia, and it's so good. Such a good time. And seeing that Bungie logo there, just, man, that was a good, good time. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. Leave a like if you like the video, and if you're enjoying this kind of content and you want to stay up to date with it going forward, the best way to do that is consider subscribing, consider ringing the notification bell, because that helps you stay up to date with everything that happens over here on the channel. And it helps me get these videos out to more people in the long run. That's exactly what I want to do. So with that being said, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.